Hello and welcome to the muddy coast. Tonight I am in Fintorn and I am off to see if I can get some decent seascape images. Let's go! So I'm very familiar with Fintorn. I've been photographing here for years and I've taken some really good shots of when the tide's been out but one thing I've been wanting to do for years is take some long exposure photos when the tide is in. There's some great pillar things here basically and when the tide's in they'd act as a great focal point for, for obviously long exposure photos. So I'm going to wait till this near the sunset tonight and see if I can get some decent long exposure shots of the sun setting with a long exposure image around these pillars and maybe even stay till blue hour and see if we can get some nice twilight images as well. So these are the pillars that I was on about earlier and the tide is currently coming in and it's still two hours until sunset. So hopefully this tide is going to be around here by the time the sun sets and we're going to get some really nice long exposure images. But this is beautiful, lovely sunny nights, fantastic location, let's see what happens. So while we're waiting for the sun to set, I just want to address a couple of things. I first of all want to say a massive thank you to everybody so far for all your kind comments and your subscriptions. When I started making these videos a few months ago, I literally expected a couple of friends to watch them and maybe a couple of random people to come now and again. But to have almost 600 subscribers when this video was filmed and over 3,000 views on a handful of my videos, I mean, I was not expecting that. So thank you guys so much for the support. And I can't wait to see where this channel is going to take me in the future. Secondly, I just want to make a point. When I started this channel, I didn't intend for it to be a landscape photography channel. I used landscape photography as a medium for me to try and inspire people to get out and enjoy the natural world. And that's what this channel is all about. I don't claim to be an expert photographer. I don't claim to be a good photographer. I just want my images to inspire you to get out and enjoy the natural world. And if I can give you a couple of hints and tips in the process, that's great. This location is so beautiful. This is the River Fintorn and it obviously runs all the way into the sea round there. But there's so much wildlife here and so much variety of things to see. In here we've got Fintorn Marina which is full of boats which is great for photography. Round in that location you've got seals and obviously round by the beach you've just seen you've got so many nice, you've got the nice sand, the shingle, the marram grass, the beach huts. There's so much to offer here. I just hope that the light tonight is going to be quite nice so that I can get some images. But like I've just I said earlier, even if not, what a beautiful evening and what a stunning location. So right now I'm just trying to work out where the best place to take my photos will be. The sun is starting to set very nicely over there. I think we've got maybe about 45 minutes until the sun sets. So I wanted to obviously take an image of the sun coming around these pillar bits, but I didn't realise it's actually the one over there that everybody photographs, but there's a lot of kids and that playing on it, so I'm not going to be able to photograph there. 
This one is starting to get some sea coming around it, but unfortunately the image that I really wanted was going to be from over here, which would have encompassed all this sand, which is just full of footprints, which is obviously going to ruin the image. So I'm going to wait till the sun sets just a little bit more, see if the light comes too, and we're going to take it from there basically. See if we can get some nice light hitting these pillars from this side, rather than having the sun set in the image. See if we can get some nice colours, some nice contrast, and just see what manifests. So I was hoping to get some nice side-on images of this pillars, but the composition just wasn't working. Um, also because of all the footprints and that, it just wasn't going to happen. So instead I'm taking images straight forward onto the pillars. Basically I've got a 10-stop filter in situ, um, a big stopper, slowing down the shutter speed. We've got an image going just now that's going over 50 seconds. So I'm just hoping, although it's quite a boring composition, that the image might look quite nice and quite fine art-like. A beautiful night. I was trying to get some images, kind of one to two second shots of the waves coming in and hitting the beach. I did take a couple, I'm not sure how they turned out, but hopefully there'll be one or two decent ones I can show you on the screen now. Sunset just now is so beautiful, but we're going to see if we can find another composition because I'm just not happy with that one there at all. There's some really nice openings over the bay where the Cromarty Firth is and some more nice driftwood and everything down here that I'm going to try and use in the foreground. And as we kind of move towards twilight, we might get some more interesting and moody shots. It's always nice when you've got one of your friends with you that can do all the dirty work for you. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing a fantastic job, I have to say. I feel like a professional. But look at all these clouds above my head. They're so unusual. Like all these purple blobs. It's beautiful. What a beautiful end to the night and the video. Just look at the colours in those sky in that those skies? That sky. It's just beautiful. I've taken quite a few images from various different places, but to be honest, I've just enjoyed this last kind of half an hour of the sunset. Like I said before, you don't have to take images when you're out. Sometimes it's just about enjoying it, enjoying what's in front of you and admiring it and appreciating it. And tonight just shows that. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> The beach is now deserted. We've pretty much got it all to ourselves. It's crazy, literally like two minutes ago this beach was full of people and now there's nobody. So I'm just taking a couple more long exposure images before we call it a night. Most of the beautiful light has now gone but I came across this kind of pillar in the water here and also we've got this nice silhouetted black trees of the Calvin Forest in the distance. And I'm just taking some nice long exposure images and I'm quite happy with how some of them have turned out. As always with my photos, they're not the best shots in the world, but they're great mementos from a lovely night and a lovely photo shoot. Well, that's us back at the car. You probably can't see me just now because it's really, really dark. But what a great night. 
I just want to say a huge thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.